Welcome back. In this one, I'll be talking about how we can talk or how we can manage, how we can select, how we can see what is happening in the branches. So this is what we've created already. So this is sort of our data tree and we have branches underneath of every data tree, right? And how the branches are defined. The branches are defined here, as you see, underneath like 0, 0, 1, 0 is the first branch of my surface 0, which is this one. And branch 0, 0, 1 or list 0, 0, 1 is the second point list of my first surface, third one, and then the first one of the second surface, second one of the second surface, and so on and so forth. But these are called branches, but what do we call them, or how do we understand which branch we would like to talk about, or which we branch we would like to select, let's say, do something with that particular branch, is defined with these numbers here. These are the names of these branches, okay? But how we how do we really how do we really select those or how do we really deal with them so if i need to like let's say if i want to select this branch what i need to do i need to go to set underneath tree you'll see tree branch somewhere here so this is our data tree right and within this data tree we have to be giving the path the name of the branch that we would like to work with but if I say like how do we define these names these names should be defined within the curly brackets and defined with these like uh, separated with these sign here and then those with another curly bracket and how I can do that there are two ways to do so you can come over to tree and then you can say okay I want to create a, a branch but I need to see that create path or something as such ah construct path so I can say construct path and while constructing the path what I need to do is I need to create some sliders right right like let's say create a slider ranging between 0 to by the way, if you do this, you will have a slider that ranges 0 to 2 only, and then connect it. And then you immediately see that path 0 doesn't exist within this data tree, within this tree, because there's no nothing as such defined as 0, right? So what I need to do is, I need to add another one, and another one, and then what I'll be seeing as an output of this branch is the selection of my four points remember this is my branch right it doesn't particularly work with the number of elements inside we only say okay select everything underneath path named zero zero and zero and if i change this to one you see it doesn't change anything because our first starting value and then it will give us a flag it always has this zero so whatever you change this unless it's zero it doesn't work but if I select this I don't know let's put some spheres to highlight this a bit further okay uh, we can say 150 okay it's too big but it, it will make the point so if I select this this time and make it one you see it changes the path name changes the surface because zero all these zeros are not making any change because they are there but they are not changing anything but the next line or next column in that row in that path name indicates the net the surface so surface zero and surface one and if i select two there won't be any two it will select nothing and then this guy will select within that particular list now we are working in this guy here 
the third column in that path name. So zero means zero, path, sorry, branch zero, branch one, branch two. Branch one and one meaning the mid branch of the second tree. So this is how you understand which branch you are working on or what is a branch in Grasshopper. So before we finish this video, I would like to take this, copy this and paste it, make this, I don't know, like 40 and recolor it with this color and then type branch. Let's do this because we can say branch and path because the one that we just covered is path, right? Branch and path. The wig, branch and path, and making this smaller. So this is what we have for this video. And in the next video, I'll be mainly talking about how we can access these uh, items within those lists with the same logic.